Oh my god, this is... Can I change this one? <laughs> I think on average I order about 20 times a week. Yeah, quite a lot. You kind of have to use your service when you're running it, so. What do you do when you feel like giving up? I actually go uh, dancing when I feel like giving up. I have a glass of wine, I call my girlfriends, talk about things that make me feel like I'm giving up and more importantly I exercise and if I can afford it travel. I like my riders to treat me as they would uh, any other customer when they deliver. Um, it also means that I get to engage with them and there's no sort of boss employee type of situation um, and it's the best way for me to actually you know see how we can improve at the, at, at the point of delivery. What do you hate most about the dating process? Ah, the three questions. Tell me what you do, what do you like, where do you come from? It's kind of like an interview process for the first five minutes, so that's what I don't like about the dating process. <laughs> oh my god, I have to admit, like initially yes, until I got told by my team, like, I need to go and sleep. <laughs> And now I actually have become very good at not sending emails at all hours of the day and it, I think it's often a disease that you just have to actively stop your mind. Um, so I think it's getting better. If you had to spend a year alone with one other person, who would it be and why? Oh my god, this is... I would say a comedian, John Oliver. I think he's really intelligent. Um, I think he can talk about anything and he can make me laugh. He annoys me, but not to the point where like, if he annoys me, I'd want to like laugh afterwards. So yeah, John Oliver. Yes, there were, there were people on your team that were so responsive. And I also think because I think the tone of my teams, were, um, the tone of my email was like so evident how stressed I was. But I think the response came back at a time, even if it wasn't, you know, and I obviously don't expect responses at that time, but when I was getting them, I was highly impressed. Certainly response was amazing and uh, the tone of that response was um, very reassuring. If you won the lottery tomorrow, <laughs> what's the first thing you'd buy? I would probably buy a trip around the world or something. Yeah, I'd probably go travel somewhere that I've been always wanting to travel to. So that one actually, you just have flour and you'll have water and oil, I actually put oil and lots of, a little bit of oil to just mush it up and then tons of butter and then a little bit of vanilla essence and then you just roll it out and the thinner they are, it's like more crispier and then put them out and you can put little sprinkles on them, I just didn't have time to do this but essentially you could put sprinkles and chocolate and yeah, strawberries, whatever, you like jam and then Bake them and voila! Okay. What is the last vegetable you would ever want to be? Okay, first thing that came to my mind was an eggplant. <laughs> I think a foodie is, you know, someone who is not only interested in cuisines, but interested to go beyond um, what he or she has tried, and then willing to just try different things, I think. And then also sharing your experience. Okay, what are you most excited about in your life right now? Is it gonna be so bad to say my job? <laughs> it's, honestly, like, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about what 2018 has in store for Jumia Food and Jumia Party. I, I feel super proud. I'm proud of the work we've done. I'm proud of our team and I'm proud of the work we did together with you guys. Describe one extravagance you have for which you will never apologize shoes uh, I don't think about like I don't think about price points when I look at shoes uh, no not at all I think knowing Susan before we professionally engaged Capital FM at no point did I ever feel a doubt of risk I think the risk was more on our side like do we know what we're doing um, but I think working with you guys being super professional and understanding what our worries are and, and kind of being very flexible as well with us um, was great and and it just got easier you guys are making me sweat here honestly like <laughs> when it comes to love and relationships what is the first lesson you want to teach your children find a friend 
Find a friend in, in your relationship, um, a friend that's there with you through obviously the good stuff, but certainly the bad stuff. It uh, surpassed the goal we had set out. Just off the top of my head, uh, the last that I saw, we did almost half a million views um, just from one, one video. Uh, the second one, about the same as well. People are starting to see that we are not only a premium product, but we're trying to you know, really become relatable into their homes and, and make sure that you know, we fit you know, families, you know, singles, couples, all types, all ages, whether you're working, not working. That was the overall effectiveness is, you know, people started seeing that, you know, we're cool and it's fun to order on Jimmy food. And um, yeah, and that's what we're gonna keep doing. What are you worse at than 90% of the population? I can't remember names. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't put that. <laughs> yeah, I, I am terrible at names, so I apologize. Like, I usually have to be upfront and ask for names. So yeah, it's not a very good habit and I should really fix that. But unfortunately, that's what I'm bad at. <laughs>